Napenda mboga. Napenda mboga na tunza afya zangu na kula hapa shuleni. Naenda kuotesha nyumbani. Napenda kustani kwa sababu inatuelimisha afya zetu. Mimi napenda mboga. Tukupatia afya na kwa sababu naenda naenda kuelimisha ndugu zangu nyumbani pia baba na mama napenda saro mchicha na nakupenda kuotesha nyumbani mboga zingine My name is Svetelina Stuilova. I am genetic resources scientist and work here at ABRDC, Eastern and Southern Africa. I am responsible for the seed repository located in Arusha, Tanzania. Today we are at Baral School. We have a good collaboration with this school that started two years ago. We distributed seed kits to them to establish their school garden for two purposes, education and nutrition. The reason we started the garden project was because we were very aware that many children were not getting proper nutrition. We, had, we were lucky in that we had a large piece of land. AVRDC were so helpful, they gave us our original seeds. And we're still growing plants from those original seeds as we harvest them and use them for our next crop. I'm Silas Geoffrey from Arusha region. Um, I started I start working in Bara since 2014. So we employed a young man and he was given training by AVRDC. So they not only provided the seeds but they also trained him and have been really supportive ever since because Silas has had additional training and then on top of that they've put us in touch with other organisations which have been able to help us with, with things like organic pesticides. And in fact they've always helped us with pesticides because we send them photographs and then they tell us what pests we've got and how to deal with them. So. With these seed kits they establish their school garden from which they harvest their vegetables and after they use for cooking and uh, eating during lunch time to receive micronutrients and vitam vitamins which they cannot receive from uh, staple foods like ugali or potato or rice. These traditional vegetables are rich in vitamins and micronutrients. We have amaranth, Ethiopian mustard, African nightshade. They are rich in vitamin A. And we know that one of the main problems in East African countries are vitamin A deficiencies. We do malnutrition checks every three years. We will be doing those tests again in September this year and we do hope to see an improvement in the just over 300 children who were malnourished and who are now getting school food. I think it's a pity that more schools don't do it um, because I actually think the children love it. I think they love gardening. I think it's really good for them because they learn skills that they might not normally get. And for those children who are perhaps not academically bright, being able to grow their own thing. It improves children's self-confidence and I think they do learn and the, and the brighter, more thoughtful ones take those ideas home to their parents.